remarks VoIP notification application for Cisco call manager allows you to send notification or, al or alert to Cisco IP endpoints so you can send a pre-recorded voice alert or you can send a simple text alert or you can send a combination of a pre-recorded voice and a text alert or you can also send live voice broadcast using a Cisco IP phone so these alerts can be sent in different use cases like can send a voice alert in case of a fire situation or in case of a terrorist attack you can also send a text and voice alert during enterprise uh, some kind of network outage like the, like the email server down so these are just a few of the use cases where this application can be used and there can certainly be a vast number of cases where this application can be utilized by an enterprise so let me demonstrate this application. So sending an alert, uh, the application administrator needs to log in using a web-based interface. So in this application uh, interface, uh, you can predefine n number of pre uh, alerts, where these alerts can be a simple text alert, it can be a simple voice alert or it can be a combination of a text and voice alert. So for here I have configured few of them where one of, one of them is a text alert which I have pre-configured which needs to be sent whenever there is an email server down. So there is a text message which will be going to all the target IP phones and here I have configured them it needs to be sent to all the different all the phones configured for this application. So here also you can configure that whether a message or an alert needs to be sent to a particular set of DNs or to a group of DNs or to all the uh, DN or phones configured in the application. And in case of a text and voice alert where this is a fire alert which I have predefined, so it's a text message and uh, along with it there is a pre-recorded voice file also uh, configured for this alert which I can select from a list of voice files which are which are configured for this application now for this demonstration purpose I have got my one of the IP communicators configured on this laptop where you can see a different alerts landing uh, on the phone and also I have taken the remote access of three of the phones this is a six uh, seven nine four two phone and this is a 9971 phone and this is an another 7942 phone so the remote access which I have taken out these phones so just let me send the free first of all that's the email server down text alert which I will be sending so just let me minimize the phone yeah, so that you can view them also so on send of the on click of send option You see, and uh, the text alert is pushed to all the IP phones. And let me refresh the phones which have taken remote access screens. It's been delivered in all the IP phones. So the text message has been delivered with a buzz that which I have configured for this particular alert. So there can be different buzz tones which can be configured for an alert. So in case now after whenever an alert is sent, I can also stop an alert or in case the text has cleared the screens. For that all I need to do is just click the stop uh, message alert. In that case, the screens of all the phones will be cleared. So as you can see, the uh, alert has been cleared. So now let me demonstrate uh, sending of a text and a voice alert. Now, for example, there is an uh, in case there is an outage or a fire outage in an organization, I can send this uh, alert with a combination of a 
text message plus a voice predefined voice so on click on uh, send this alert will be sent to all the IP phones configured for this application so As you see, a text alert has been sent along with the voice file also. To stop the message in between, click of stop. So I can also stop the simply by so uh, whenever a voice alert is sent, the speakers of the IP phones gets activated automatically, and the voice file is played out on the IP phones. So this is how you can send a text alert and a text and voice alert. Now also you can create groups in the application and you can also send uh, alerts to different groups which are created. And these groups can be created based on the device pool as configured in the call manager or it can be created based on uh, the group name configured on the description field of the DN of the devices so by just by selecting a group name you can send a notification to the particular group you can see all the different groups are available which are configured in the application this way now similarly you can also send an alert voice alert it is the live voice broadcast using your IP phone so that can be done by accessing the live voice IP phone service application on an IP phone. On selecting of the application, it will be submitted or displayed a list of options that are there. Like send a voice alert to all the phones configured the application or to a particular DN range where you can give that the voice alert should go from this particular DN to this particular DN or it can also be sent to a particular group which you have selected so this way you can send so in case I want to send to a particular DN range all I need to give is like <coughs> so all the phones which are lying between these two range will receive this live voice broadcast so whatever I speak on my phone will be del uh, delivered live on the IP phones of this, all these IP phones. So on click of this phone app application, so whatever I spoke on was delivered on the different IP phones on the speakers. So these are the main features where uh, you can uh, text alerts, voice alerts, and live broadcasts, which can be sent using the Mars VoIP notification application.